and our Sky Brisbane Bureau Chief, Adam Walters. Gents, welcome. Let's start, James, if I can, a bit of rhetorical biffo inside the left today. Uh, the Greens and this uh, stoush with the government over the Labor uh, Safeguard Mechanism Bill, all about emissions, I explained it at the top of the show. Environment Minister Tanya Plebersek, well, she gave the Greens a bit of a blast in question time. I think that Greens voters would actually be shocked to see Greens members of Member Parliament Griffith, getting we'll ready rejecting. to sit next to Peter Dutton and Barnaby Joyce to vote against action on climate change. Now, I reckon this fight is about as fake as a wrestling match, and I think there will be, <laughs> if not a deal done in the chamber on amendments, there'll be a private secret deal behind closed doors. But uh, give, me, give me your take. Well, yeah, look, I mean, I love this idea of this as this sort of phony wrestling WWE kind of match between, you know, Adam the Ant Bant and the Camperdown crusher Anthony Albanese, you know, going at it there in <laughs> Parliament. But... You know, on another level, you know, I have to ask, where are all of these new coal and gas projects that the Greens think are getting up already? I mean, here in New South Wales, we can't get Narrabri going down. Tanya going on. Tanya Plibersek the other day knocked off a Clive Palmer coal mine. I mean, time and time again, these things already... The Greens' demands are being met on this. But the one thing I would say, Peter, is that the Greens really are revolutionaries, and they would happily see the lights go out uh, to meet their carbon, their carbon goals. Yeah, we'll all see come May how much we need coal and gas in the bottom line of our budget before we all go belly up bankrupt and uh, have to borrow everything from offshore. But that's for a few